All right, small interruption there. I forgot to uh, put my now recording sign up and shut my door, but that's all right. That was entirely my fault. And now we are recording again. Hello, everyone. Good to see you. We need more food. Very much more food. But where should we be making the food? In fact, this town should be producing less food, really. We simply have a lot of units on the move. Oh, and I took I took down this town's uh, food production considerably because I was worried about it being taken over, and I have that policy of not producing more food than uh, than you have a garrison, unless I really feel that the town is secure. Which I'm generally hoping these towns are secure. I actually am not really getting the feeling of security from these towns, but it's uh, it's what I've got right now. That is definitely a concern, I must say. Okay, well, we can instantly chaos channels, so let's instantly channel some chaos into our elite war trolls. And what did we get? We get fire breathing trolls that have strength to fire breath. That's pretty cool. That's really cool, in fact. All right, next turn. Obrick is attacking with a considerable sized force. Well, considerable sized force for three trolls, war trolls, anyway. But we always have the flame strike. You remember the flame strike, don't you, Obrick? Yes, you remember how often you hit me with it. Well, does it feel fun? Does it feel fun to be on the receiving end of it? Does it? Yes, that's what I. Well, actually, it's working out for him right now. All right, all right, fine, fine. We can we can add a lightning bolt to this situation, and maybe it'll work out. Who do we hit with the lightning bolt? How about we attack the priests? And we die. We attack the priests, and then we lose three fame and some money. You give me those 35 gold pieces. That's actually not so bad. Give me them 35 gold pieces back. Uh, so we're at a deficit for food because we lost a town that was producing more than it had, right? I do not want three halfling swordsmen. No? Okay, we're just at negative three food now. That's good. I was worried about dis troops being disbanded. That's the importance of the uh, food policy. So we got more, more fire-breathing trolls, and uh, flying trolls, which is a lot of fun, but it's not really that useful unless you can get a full squad of flying trolls, really. Well, I mean, actually, they'll be able to get over walls and such. Uh, it's not extremely useful, I'll just say that. Okay, actually, I should have looked at the garrison before I attacked. You know, that's always a, a consideration. They've got pikemen. Pikemen are a little scary. Significantly less scary after a flame strike. Anyone is significantly less... Well, not anyone, actually. There are some very resistant people. For example, paladins. But most people are significantly less... Most normal units are significantly less threatening after a good flame strike. Because you just cut down all their numbers. If all their units are, like, giant single-figure units, then you do not fear Flame Strike nearly as much. I mean, it still will hurt. Just, uh, a large army. Large armies always fear the Flame Strike. Just as it is. But... Oh, yes, yes, because we are flying, we can attack the Griffins. That's good. Another use of the, or no, oh yeah, the, the, or the fire breathing trolls can also attack flying units. So that's actually why fire breathing is much, much more recommended than uh, than flying, really. But it doesn't matter what you recommend, because chaos channels just give you whatever you get. So 
I guess I suppose you could like disband troops that you don't. It's like I don't like this enchantment. Disband, build a new one, until I get a full set of fly, fire breathing or tough skinned or or flying units. The tough skin's not bad either. Obviously. In fact, the armor can be much more useful on certain units than than others. Obviously, it it really depends. But when you can regenerate, I think. Well, I mean, regenerating defense is a really good combination too. But so is fire breathing. It's that they're, they're all really nice, actually. That's what's great about chaos channels. So it's it's really hard to lose, and then you don't have to pay upkeep, which is really cool. Although I'm not really too worried about that. So let's see, just priests and griffins, just that. We can handle just some griffins, right? I think we can. Hey, that's a nice little hamlet you got there. We'll go raid it whenever it's uh, a bit more thriving. And you're not making enough food. And also... Well, I guess... No, I think I'm going to take him off the, the beetle production, that town. As soon as I can get there. I feel like that's a good enough garrison. And I feel like stag beetles just aren't as good as trolls. Although, is there something else nice that you can produce here? Perhaps. No, no, that's right. The Clacon cannot build a lot of buildings that other races cannot, or can. They, uh, they cap out rather quickly, one might say. Okay, this is a little bit risky, because the pikemen are scary, especially when enchanted, but we're fighting on a Chaos node, so, haha, -ha, no invulnerability for you. And even if you were invulnerable, my Hydra, I think, can handle it, but we'll see. This is a good test for the Hydra and its capabilities. Yes, go ahead and fizzle all your magic, and waste your shots on my trolls. Go ahead. The really nasty thing about Pikemen is just the armor piercing. It's incredible. Plus, the plus one to hit is very effective as well. So, you're getting all your hits through thanks to the hitting, and, uh, and then you're piercing half the enemy's defense. It's an incredible combination. And also, if anyone had, dares to try to first strike you, you negate it, which is useful when you have an attack-based strategy. Then you just throw a bunch of attack enchantments on them, and, uh, Bob's your uncle. Destroyed them without even getting scratched. Even if it did, it would regenerate. Stop ignoring my Hydras. We want a good test. Yes. The Hydra is incredible. I think I would like another Hydra. And then another Hydra. And then another Hydra! And I would like to put them all in one giant, regenerating, terribly powerful stack. My god, Hydras are great. Regeneration is just so awesome. It's... it's a bit too... too awesome, one might say. When used properly. It is one of the better ways to defeat the AI, because the AI has so powerful magic that they can usually beat you in small battles. So you need to you need to constantly fight them in big big giant fights. Okay, so suddenly we have a bunch of food and why? I did I I took some casualties somewhere, didn't I? I I I'm a little confused. For one reason or another I'm producing a lot of food. I guess I'll allocate it here, for now, until I properly find out where it's been put. Right, I took this town, and this town's producing a bunch of food. Of course. Yep, that's always what happens when you get new towns. So I am making a lot, a lot of money, and I could be making more money if I sold some stuff from this town. Uh, more money if I sold some stuff from this town. A lot of money. 
Money, 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 money. That's a very good thing. Money, 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 yacht, yacht, yacht. Or at least a try, Reem, you know. Could buy some hammer hands. That actually would be bad to keep myself defended, actually. Oh, and we're at negative food. So you, uh, you, you make the food, please. The nice dwarven bread. That's nice and rock hard. Like in the Terry Pratchett books. Why am I transferring labor there? Labor will go here. Because you only have two spearmen defending you, so you should really be like this. Okay, okay. Channel some chaos to places. Do I need to be afraid of this? Probably. Maybe a little. Guess I'll use the wait them out strategy, because we are behind the wall. Alright. Oh yeah, they're flying, so they're jerks. Okay, fine. You wanna be flying jerks? Be dead flying jerks with a doom bolt. That should take care of the situation pretty effectively. And now they have the audacity to try to ride up and fight us in melee. You cannot beat more trolls in melee. Go ahead and try to beat us in melee. This will not work. One griffin versus a bunch of war trolls. But yeah, go ahead and try to fight my crazy army with a hydra as a dispel evil, huh? That actually worked fairly well. You took, you took, you took two heads off the hydra, and you got it through the node. Dispel evil. That's that's a scary spell, and she's doing it like crazy. Ariel is wasting a lot of mana. Wow, she just has... She must have a giant amount of skill. Oh my lord! Okay, are you done, Ariel? Are you quite done? My word! I am... I am worried about that... That woman. <laughs> she is... Very powerful. I mean... I'm thinking I'm powerful, and I am, but she is something else, let me tell you. I mean, let's let's call the astrologer and see what he thinks. He thinks that I am not too much more powerful in, than Obrick, really, I mean, when it comes to comparison to Ariel, and, and Merlin is way more powerful than me, too. I mean, I'm... I'm only a little bit close. I'm surprised that Ariel does not have the spell of mastery yet, and that is a concern. Because if she gets it, eh, she can win. She could still she could still pull a win out of this, actually. So I need to get with it. Which means also how much mana did she did she use? Is she still Oh she just put a tiny little dent in her. She just threw like uh she threw like 500 mana. She has like 500 skill. She has like 500 skill. I've got 83 skill. She's got like 500. Okay, well, I think an Armageddon could tip the scales in my favor. Let's 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 work on researching the Armageddon. How much? If I really really work on it, I can get it in 17 turns. Well, an Armageddon, I research it in 17 turns. Then how long does it take to cast my good men? How long? Much mana? It costs 1,250 mana, so it's going to take quite a few turns at my casting rate. And then we'll have an Armageddon that's raising one volcano per turn, giving me a tiny bit of mana each turn. It is a long-term way to victory, but it might not work out. Hmm. Well, it's something to work towards, I suppose, but maybe I should be doing more. Skill will help me more in the short term. 
Armageddon will help me in the long term, but skill will help me cast the Armageddon too, so... Let's get some more skill. Skill is useful. Skill... Skill is important. And then more Chaos Channels. Let's... Let's channel the Chaos of... Or only normal units, maybe. I didn't... Oh, you guys are the Flying Trolls, I'm sorry. You could say that they're already channeled, but... Nope, nope. It's... It's a mythical creature now. Oh, right! And once you Chaos Channel troops, you can't put any other enchantments on them, can you? Well, that's a shame, but I guess... I guess we'll deal with that, because... I, I don't want to bother putting any more enchantments on too many guys. One enchantment per guy is really good enough, really. Okay, okay. Our troops are getting a bit split up conquering this empire. Starting to feel a bit like Rome, over expanding a bit. Well, let's see if we can lower Oberic's military might a bit. Because we need to kill all the troops we can with the opportunity that has been created by Oberic's death. We have a large army waiting there to kill anyone who dares get in our way. More war troll reinforcements coming along. You can produce your garrison's worth of troops, or your garrison's worth of food, that would be good. Chaos Channels. Let's channel the troops with the Hydra. They are the most important troops right now. I would argue. Okay. More chaos channels. Yes, yes, yes. Alright. Man. <laughs> I just thought it was like that. It's a little bit funny. Alright. Let's. Actually, let's have the magic spirit on hand for when we take the next location. Next, uh, next, next node. Nose. Node. No, node. It's, uh... Oh, right, right. This, these places are highly overstocked with stuff. We need to sell some of the crap. Like, you don't need a shipwrights guild, really. I mean, you don't, you don't need a mecha mechanician's guild either, or whatever. But, uh, let's get rid of that first. Miner's Guild, you don't need that. Hmm. Some Warlocks would be nice, but they're just so frail. They take so much work, and they are so frail. Muty to Missiles and a Doom Bolt is just, it does sound nice on paper. But it just doesn't work out in the end. Generally. I am rampaging through Obrick's places. And this is a good thing, I think. We can take that with our channeled, powered, chaos channeled trolls. I think we can take out some normal troops just fine. Haha, -ha. much better. It's so nice having enchanted troops. Let me tell ya. Everyone get to work on making me more money. You guys will advance upon the enemy, I suppose. Which enemy? How about the enemy city? That's actually a bit more profitable. We're working on Chaos Channels. This is good. 
We're making 101 gold per turn. Do we, did we sell crap from the towns? I think we did. Like, uh, can I? No, nope, one per turn. Good, 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 good. Uh, so, I'd like to buy a thing. You're a thing. Swordsman. Dwarven Swordsman, you are a thing. We, we don't like the sound of that. Too bad. More woodsmen's guilds would get, uh, or woodcutters' guilds would get any more food, I guess. It seems I need an all mill, sawmill. Yeah, I get a sawmill. And then get more food for us. You're getting all the food you can get. I don't really think investing in this town more is a good idea. But this town could use a little... Not a sage's guild, a temple. It could use a little temple. Which it gets for free. This town could also use a temple. Which it cannot afford. Unless I convert power to gold. Alright, effective use of my huge horde of mana, I would think, or I should think. So three rangers of Obricks versus two of my war trolls. I think we can just sit inside the city walls, in fact I think we can let auto handle this for a change, because Obrick isn't around to do anything about this. Aha, you are triumphant. Sawmill! And... Now make a Forester's Guild. Temple! Now you are a town that's completely under control, so... More hammer hands? Temple! You should now... What should you now do? You're on a town that's completely under control. So you should do some trade goods, I suppose? Or some housing you can even do, I suppose. I mean, some a bigger town, I guess, would be nice, a nice sort of investment. But then again, it's like if I lose the town, then it's an investment that is poorly placed. So that's why I like to do trade goods, because it goes into your uh, treasury. Sure, if you lose a town, you lose a portion of your treasury, but it's not as bad as losing the entire investment when you put it in the town. Obviously, you get larger returns on your investments, but depending on what you spend the money on, you could get larger returns on another investment, I guess is a way of putting it. In any case, uh, this is what I do, so. Let us hope it is the correct thing. Or at least, let me hope that it is cor the correct action. Uh, this city is under siege, but not by anything that would worry me much at all. So we're going to let this happen. Are you all enchanted? No. Now you are all enchanted. What are you? Fire breathing. Fire breathing. Flying. And tough. Very good. Very, very good, good. Build a road. You can live. Because I am busy. Wait, I just moved the uh, magic spirit the opposite direction of the direction it was moving before. I am just moving that magic spirit all over the place, back and forth. And he doesn't know what to do or where to go. He's he's a confused spirit as much as he is. He's he's a more of a confused spirit than a magical spirit, really. But that's fine. It's, A lot of places have grown because you have a lot of places. It is surprising how large my empire has become. I feel like I feel like I'm due to be taken down a notch almost at some point. Like all the wizards are just going to converge on me with very large nasty armies and start taking over my cities. But I'm 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 holding them back for now. 
I'm mostly worried about, like, Ariel coming around with, like, stacks of Archangels. Stacks and stacks of Archangels and is saying, Oh, good night. You, you're, uh, I think I'm going to kill you now. Because, obviously, she sounds like, she sounds almost exactly the same as an impression of the Queen of England. Oh, oh I am Ariel. Oh, hello there, peasant. I'm going to kill you with my royaltiness. Royaltiness? It's a, it's a word, you know. I'll sick the corgis on you. And the footmen. I'll sick the beef eaters on you. Uh, you. You'll be sorry. And she will. She'll sick the corgi and the beef eaters and uh, whatever else she got, you know, that she has some sort of influence over. She'll send everything she's got at whatever she's angry at. That's, she is a, uh, a very angry lady. Don't let her uh, happy, happy-go-lucky appearance fool you. She is quite a spitfire. So another Hydra sounds like a good thing to do. After all, my first Hydra needs a brudda. Right? To hang around with and get all chummy with and stuff. That's, that's what we do. Anyways, we got more hammer hands and this is good because I'm very worried about these home cities that are producing too much food and so to defend the too much food that I'm producing, that I'll have to produce more of, I'll produce more troops. It just seemed like a cycle a bit there. But that's okay. It's it's a victory cycle, that's what we call it. I've never seen... Oh, we, I did not expect that. Well, it's better to have a loss on a small scale than a large scale. That's, that's a shame. That's a bit of a shame, I might say. So, we've never looked at this nature node. How bad is it? It is a great worm. And those worms are just great. I mean, they're the greatest. Have we looked at this node? Let's not bother. We need to reconvene with our troops and stuff. We have created a stack of, of uh, trolls, and that is good. We like stacks. Stacks like us. Alright. Big city of Ariels will now be a big city of mine. Holy word, that was an attack. But it didn't seem... That's right, Holy Word is something that affects all Chaos units, and we are all Chaos units. Well, that is a... Uh, I mean, Ariel is the bane of our existence at this point. It, that is like Flame Strike, but intended just for me. That is, uh, that is a problem. Well, I've got Flame Strike for you, too. I wasn't thinking I'd need it, but you know what? I'm a little bit afraid. You freaked me out there, Ariel, with your holy word. Because I do not want you killing my Hydra that easily. Of course, it doesn't look like you will. But still, it's just the, the very idea just offends me so. And uh, so, yeah, actually, Ariel is a big problem. A big big problem. Luckily this holy word nonsense is to spell evil. That's like the direct version and she's targeting my Hydra. She does not want that Hydra to live and I do. Luckily, if we win the battle, we keep the Hydra. We got 2,764 gold pieces and 4 fame. Let's take a look in the mirror. 106 fame! But we only have 2 heroes. I mean, really? Well, how much fame does it take that's another thing, I really feel like the AI gets much more lucky with heroes, considering 29 fame, 3 heroes, and I've been killing your heroes? 5? So I mean, all 6 heroes? And you don't have any fame? I mean, really. Well, actually, she could have been summoning the heroes. She could have been summoning the heroes, and she's got a lot of power, so I guess I guess that's reasonable. Do we got a basilisk that looks like it's going to eat this town. Please don't eat my town, basilisk. That's that's rude. Well, you're not gonna get the, the this town without a fight. That's for for darn sure. Obrick is back to kill again. 
which I am going to enjoy doing. Alright, fine, Basilisk. We are afraid of you because you can turn us all into stone. So what we're going to do, a pair of Doom Bolts will do 10 damage and 10 damage and you have 5, 10, 10 20, 30 health. That'll put you at 10 health. And then at 10 health, you'll just look at us all and kill us. And Ariel on top of that is going to heal you. She's going to heal you every bloody turn. So you know what? You know what? You could do Call Chaos. But it hits every unit with a random effect. There's not that many units in this battle. That's not a powerful spell. And also, it's not as uh, reliable. Not as reliable as the Magic Vortex. I'm going with the Magic Vortex, even though I'm defending my city. And as the spell says, the Magic Vortex does terrible damage to a city. I just love Magic Vortex that much. And also, it's my way of saying, if I can't have it, nobody can. Which is a classic statement. It's my city. Or it's nobody's city. Yep, she keeps healing that Basilisk. Well, that's fine, because I'll keep taking it down. Now, which way do I move? I move towards the Basilisk. Because the Basilisk is a thing we're afraid of. And then when it's at critical health, we will... Where is my Firebolt? We will Lightning Bolt it. How's it feeling? It is feeling peachy key. Oh, did we... Nope, good. Okay, did... Oh, but I accidentally moved this unit. I did move that. Good, good, good. Okay. Fresh unit move up and done. It gets healed. My hollers get killed. The magic vortex goes the completely wrong way. Yeah, we're losing a city. I think it's basically official. The magic vortex does not want to play ball. I'm not even going to bother with the lightning bolt. It's a, a, a waste. Okay, lost three fame and 168 gold pieces. We have to take losses sometime, that's fine. Did she completely destroy the city? Whoa, what a jerk. She is a vengeful one. So, that's an archangel. That's that's what I was fearing. It's, that's several, several archangels in a stack. Just stack of archangels. Just plop it down on the counter, eh? Well... That is a thing we will have to deal with. How? It's a good question. We got three turns until we come up with some Hydra, with some another Hydra, that is. Some more Hydras, I was going to say. Plural. More Hydra heads, and nine heads. Obrex attacking with a stag beetle. Merlin's got manticores. Is so there anything we can produce to help our situation, really? More trolls. We can always make more trolls. And more trolls. And more trolls. This is what we should spend our money on. Maybe warlocks. Sure. You know what? I'll buy the warlocks. They're just going to get zapped, but you know what? I don't care. Warlocks. And then this town, yes, now that it has defenses, I will buy the freaking Miner's Guild. I don't care if it's a giant waste of cash and Merlin just shows up with some jerks and just says, This is my place now. I'm not going to invest in the Hammer Hands because they don't regenerate. And that's just not good enough for me, yes. Alright, well... I've played with the two parts I just made of this film, this this video. I've I've played for about an hour, and you know I feel like that's about about my limit for a period of time. Although usually it's been like I've been doing an hour of this game a day, but I think I'm gonna come back and play some more um, today as well. Do some more parts. Actually, no, I did I did two hours today. Actually, yes, yes. So that's good. Um, but two hours, one per day, usual average. Well, one per day on average. Two hours a day. I feel good. All right. 
but I might make even more. I really want to get this video done. I've been recording Master of Magic basically all summer now. It's like, uh, it's crazy. So, um, once again, thanks for watching. I hope you're having a good summer, and uh, good night.